Mr. Spar. Mr. No He would even remember me. St. Peter's Cemetery. St. Peter's Cemetery. Uh, East Dominic, this is it right here, Copper City Bar. We'll see if we can't get closer. This is Copper City Bar. It's got a lot of micro brews in it. Okay, turning around. Copper City. Copper City Brewing, that's what that is. They even have their own vein. Rising Auto Sales on East Dominic. Still going. Rome needs to uh, clean up the sidewalks. <laughs> Getting a little overgrown. You think the codes department would tell the parks department to start working on it? This is fine touch auto detail. They don't have that horse lit up at night. It really is. Yes, they tore down this Revere building and nobody's bought it yet. Just empty land. If they put a building here, somebody would buy it. But they're not just going to purchase the land and build it themselves. This used to be Pettibone. Anybody remember? They used to make uh, cranes here. Used to make cranes. And businesses now come and go, and it's pretty much, I don't know, out of business. Pettibone has been long gone. This is uh, Rocco G's limousines and Bucky and cigarettes. Overstuffed subs. They've been selling overstuffed subs here for years. Go ahead. Go ahead. But that's... Uh, Rocco's, Rocco G's. I don't think he's open right now. We'll look around the building here. Kind of prompt. What? Somebody I want to make. And that's the back of Rocco G's. Overstuffed subs. I think it's been like two or three decades they've been, at least three decades they've been selling overstuffed subs. I mean, I remember my father stopping here a few times and getting a sub sandwich and man, they really stuffed it. Slowing down. That's Rocco Cheese. And that's the old Petty Bone. But you see how it's just, I mean, a company says they're going to do a lot of work on it, and then they really don't do any work on it. And then they say they are, and then they don't. And I don't know. It's a bunch of bullshit. I mean, a city or politician should not say that a business or a company is moving into Rome until it actually moves into Rome. Because you put up everyone's hopes and expectations that a company is moving in, and then the company just at the last minute says, Ah, oh, we're not moving in. We found a cheaper place. Uh, 
Uh, this is Auto Vations, Auto Vations on East Dominic Street. This auto shop, uh, Mike's Auto Repair, has been here for a long time. This building has always been auto auto shop. But that's Mike, Mike Jr.'s. So he must be related to Mike Seaton here. This car shop, uh, Fazio's Auto Dealers, celebrating 25 years they've been in business. Still going. I want that charger. Although I don't like to drive fast. In case you're wondering, yes, the trains do still use this. Wow, check out that car. <laughs> Did you see that car? That's a classic. Hells Angels. <laughs> International Wire. I think I have that on a previous video, but we'll show it again. The last mayor, he poured tons of money into East Dominic Street, and I'm sorry, I just don't see any results. I really don't. He poured tons of money into East Dominic Street, and the former mayor didn't put a penny into Erie Boulevard. And Erie Boulevard gets a lot more traffic than East Dominic. Uh, <laughs> some of these buildings are just dilapidated. I don't notice where he actually put the money. <laughs> Okay. By the way, these crosswalks, the crosswalks used to have lights on, on the road, and they would light up. Problem is, in the wintertime, the snow plows would ruin them, so they had to tear it all up again and redo it. And uh, it cost a fortune to put those lights in, and it cost a fortune to redo the whole thing. That's your politicians. Now, if they were actual, real conservatives, they would have knew about that beforehand. But, I mean, <laughs> politicians really do know how to waste money. The Matios is pretty busy today. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Haven't been in here in like two decades. It's not that great of a bar anymore. Everybody goes to the Turning Stone now. This one's been owned like two or three times. AA Tobacco Grocery. This is the mill bar. One thing Rome has a lot of, barbers. And that's the old Revere plant. Anybody remember when that was in business? Been a while. Rome keeps thinking that somebody is going to buy all that. And I got a message for the Rome politicians. You're delusional. <laughs> because nobody's going to buy it. Nobody. Best thing you can do is rip it down get some state and federal money, put up a nice office building, maybe an eight or nine story building, and people will move into it. Businesses, entrepreneurs, companies with uh, research and development. But uh, <laughs> that thing's just an eyesore. 
This is uh, the rescue mission. Home on shelter. This is Rome's classic buildings, built around 1915. The Grand, which people keep buying it, but it goes out of business like within a month. Rocco Galtieri, he's been around for a while. The Barbers. The Clover used to be open, now it's for sale again. It just never made it. I think it was a diner type restaurant. New crosswalk signals, problem is nobody uses them. Well, I do, but nobody else does. Uh, Mirabito. And gems. I don't know what N gems is, if it's carpeting or used cars or whatever. The famous Savoy restaurant. good pizza in here, and I'm a sucker for pizza. And I got some people here. I'll stay. Oh, yeah, I don't know. There's a ton of those that's been here for quite a while. They almost closed up for good because of the pandemic. I guess they made out okay. Vignetto restaurant. Coming up on the fort. Colonial laundromat over there. I gotta stop. Okay, it's a very dangerous intersection right here. And there's the foot. It's St. Peter's.